So today's video is all about how to blend eyeshadow with your finger. It's so easy and simple and I can't wait to show you. I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows so you don't have to see a hideous brow. I'm just filling in the ends and the top. Make sure to follow me on all my socials. I'll list them below. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like how it's going. The first thing you want to do is prime your lids. I personally love an eye primer as opposed to a concealer. It grips the pigment better and it's so perfect for this look. Then I'm just tapping it out with my finger, very gentle. There are different shades if you do have bad discoloration like me, but I personally don't really care. I'm going in with this Visor Up palette because I want to show you how to do this without shimmers, like a brown smoky eye. So I'm taking the dark brown shade first on my finger as you see, and instead of rubbing it down, because I do have kind of saggy lids, I like to pat it on. Not saggy lids, but you know, there's a lot of, there's a little extra skin there. Now I'm going in with a lighter brown shade, really getting in there. This is a great palette. You can also use any Morphe palette or any palette you like. And I'm just overlapping it a little bit and just putting it not all the way to the top, but just where my eye socket is. I'm taking this orangey shade. Trust me, this is going to look so good, especially if you have brown eyes or even blue green eyes. This is just going to make your eyeshadow pop. I'm only putting a little bit there. And then for the final little part, we're going in with the creamy shade. This is going to blend everything amazingly. Now we start blending. Here's the fun part. You don't have to be super gentle. As you can see, all my excess skin is going everywhere. Oh. <laughs> but you really just want to start blending. Make sure your fingers are clean while doing this process. Also, when I went in every single time, I made sure that it was clean. So as you see, I'm going from the darkest part inwards and from the lightest part outwards. And you just want to blend. Don't worry if they're all going to come together. That's the whole point of this look. We're just going to keep blending and blending and blending. I like to bring it out a little bit, but then I'm going to use my other finger to clean it up. The trick here is to just keep blending until you're happy. As you see, I'm blending it out so it looks like very effortless and seamless. Now to give this look a bit more spice, I'm taking this shimmery shade on my ring finger and I'm just putting that in my inner tear duct and then we're going to blend that out as well. I like to blend it up a bit just to give it a bit more color. It just looks so pretty. Now for the under eyes, this is such a crucial part in my opinion. If you have brown eyes or any colored eyes, this is really going to make your eyes stand out, mainly because I use the brown as well as that orangey, cooly tone. So I'm just really placing this with my ring finger. The reason I like to use my ring finger is because it's the lightest finger, but you can use any finger you want. There you go, my gorgeous queens. This was such an easy look to do. I hope you do it. If you do, leave me a comment down below on how you go with it. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.